let's be honest, looks are just as good as quality when it comes to car audio, and nobody wants a butterface stereo. JVC's KW V620BT has the unique ability to change its display layouts or skins to your liking. The stereo is called El Chameleon with a K, named after its skin changing brother, the Chameleon with a CH. Thanks English language for making no sense at all. The first layout is vibrant and has big happy looking buttons, we'll call it Rappy. The second is a little more sleek, kind of traditional, Shradik. And the third is simple and bold at the same time, Spold. I dig Rappy the most. Okay, let's get serious, Van Dam. The Chameleon is a Bluetooth enabled DVD receiver with a 6.8 inch clear resistive touchscreen display, variable color button illumination, and dual phone connection. Its most family friendly feature is its ability to play DVDs. Just pop in a movie and get to watching. The Chameleon is also steering wheel control and Sirius XM ready. The built in Bluetooth allows you to stream tunes from your music libraries and apps like Pandora, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. Plus helps you practice safe driving with hands free calling and allows you to even go through your phone book. Besides the skin layout, my favorite feature on the Chameleon is its HDMI input, which allows Mirror Link. Now your phone can see how beautiful it is. This adds additional functions for non-native apps. Android users must use an MHL HDMI. To utilize it and create the mirror link, we use the Lightning Digital AV Adapter. This cable connects to your phone with a lightning cable, which connects to an HDMI cable, which connects to the chameleon. Next you have to go into System Settings, iPod Setup, and specify the connection type to HDMI Bluetooth for your iPod. This creates a mirror link between your phone and the chameleon, allowing you to see whatever you're doing on your phone on the radio's LCD. This is perfect for apps like Waze, Google Maps, YouTube, and Netflix. Hell, you can even check out cat posts on your Instagram. The chameleon is compatible with iOS and Android devices via the USB port direct connection to play music and charge your device. Make sure you use the iPod source, not USB. JVC claims the chameleon has app link mode, but we wanted to test this. They didn't lie, it works, but it's a little confusing. When you connect your iPhone or Android, you have to go into system settings, app setup, and change the device and connection. This allows you to control apps on the home screen like Spotify and Pandora. A cool smartphone feature is dual phone connection. We connected an iPhone 6 with our LG Stylo. You can switch back and forth between them easily. Perfect for when the honey wants to put on her music and you still get to take a call. Dual zone control, allowing the rear seat passengers to enjoy audio and video with additional rear monitors, while the front passengers listen to a different source. Let's go through the Chameleon's audio settings, which JVC definitely got right. The three band parametric equalizer gives you seven preset EQs, plus allows you to customize your own, add a sound effect like loudness, Move the fade position to any area in the car and adjust the crossover settings. The rear USB port not only supports audio format, but also video format when connected with a USB thumb drive. Add a backup camera and adjust the assisted parking grid guidelines. Install the iDataLink Maestro to retain factory controls, including voice control and view new settings like gauges, climate control and tire pressure. The connections in the back include the wiring harness, Sirius XM tuner, iDataLink Maestro, Bluetooth microphone, HDMI, iPod AV, video output, backup camera, three sets of four volt RCA preamp outputs for front, rear, and subwoofer, AM FM tuner, and USB extension. Included with the radio is an external Bluetooth microphone, wireless remote control, wiring harness, and parking brake extension. That's it on the JVC KWV620BT Chameleon. Be sure to check it out online at qualitymobilevideo.com. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. Leave any comments below and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to check out another cool video, go ahead and click it right up here. Thanks for watching.